Love and I, when, when I think about the two styles between these two, Emma's the type of player that really does off the serve like to take that first strike on the ball. She wants to try and get her opponent, spread the court, get them on the move. But Kennan is so good at redirecting that pace. I think that's one of her biggest assets of her game. Spinning her wheels, Kennan did with that drop shot. And that's a shot the Love American will team. use. She's very good in that regard. She's very good at disguising it as well. Changed the angle of her racket head just at the last moment. Caught Radakanu actually on her back foot. Serve out wide to start that point. So she's she's on the board. Now that might be um, a feature of this match today. How the players play on their opponent's second serve. That was an 83 mile an hour serve. So you're going to have a little bit of time there. And that's uh, maybe an opportunity for both these players to play a little first strike tennis. Second serve there. Kennan also dealt with it aggressively. That was better because it caught her into the body a little bit, but Kennan did a good job of getting out of the way of that serve, but cut into the court nicely on the backhand just to cut down on some time for Radu Kanu. She likes taking that ball early. That's where Kennan plays her best is when she hugs that baseline and looks to step in. Just can take just one or two steps. That can make all the difference. And you miss that return because you know that depth is important uh, against your opponent. Both of these players very good at anything short, trying to take advantage of the point. So that puts a lot of pressure on the return sometimes to want to go for that depth.
Advantage Kenny. Again, it was the pace of that shot from Kenin that didn't allow Radakanu to get too settled with her feet once she approached the net. Serve out wide. Kennan completely gets the wrong way. She leaned very early to the forehand side on that. Yeah, if you're a server, that's a great feeling to fight off a break point with one swing of the racket. And this grandstand court is playing fairly quick. This court gets a lot of play, a lot of practice over the qualifying and the days leading up to the open, so it's worn through pretty quickly. So aggressive play real will be rewarded out here. Coughing up the short ball. Kennan was quick to jump on that. Well, I do like the fact that Kennan is trying to take that return deep down the center of the court, and but it has to be just inside the baseline. She was able to get Raducanu again on the back foot. That's where she can really attack that next ball. Change up on the serve. First one Raducanu. that she's gone flat down the tee. Kennan expecting that out wide one that Raducanu has consistently gone for on the deuce side. Again, Raducanu. Oh, that's a big game. Saved a couple break points against Bunchen. her. And she gets on the board first, so that'll perhaps two other Grand Slam champions, Caroline Wozniacki, Naomi Osaka getting wins today. Naomi Osaka playing a Grand Slam champion as well, and Ostapenko. Sophia, can you do she looked fantastic. Got the better of Ostapenko in straight sets, but yeah, uh, apparently Osaka looked absolutely brilliant on the court today against Ostapenko. Not an easy first round match for many of these women. Yeah, Ostapenko, the seeded player in that encounter. Osaka coming back for starting a family. 15 love. Kennan always known for this sort of this unique service motion. She follows the ball right out of her hand up into the toss. To work for her though. She gets a great Tina. shoulder turn. I mean, she almost blocks her eyesight with her yeah. left arm as she's going to serve. Actually, I've seen a few of her matches where she actually isn't aware that her opponent needs a little extra opponent because she how much she's turned away from the away from the court. Down there. Two hander up high. I like that approach from Kennan. She's been playing a lot of doubles recently as well with, with great success alongside the other American Bethany Maddox and so I like the fact that she feels comfortable to move forward into the net. Game Kennan. Yeah, and doubles is a wonderful way to grow your game, isn't it? It Start is. Start feeling comfortable around the midcourt, taking the ball in the air. 
going back for smashes, all those little things that certainly can come up in a singles match. Definitely, I think reaction time. I th also think it helps your return a lot as well. You, you kind of stay focused, you hit your targets a little bit more and it's just, yeah, it completes, it get, become a complete all around player. I think the more you play doubles. And you have to feel like Bethany Maddox Sands would be sort of a great mentor. Yes. To yeah. Kennan. Maddox Sands, so much experience. And that's where Kennan was, was playing thing. her best when she won that Grand Slam in Australia in 2020, just u using the drop shot a lot throughout her play. And, and if she can add that into her game with the depth that she can bring off the ground, it's such a good combination. Now that's what really got Kennan in trouble. Vatikanu taking this backhand behind Kennan. Kennan leaning, expecting the, the backhand cross court. So it was a great change up. Ron is guilty of leaving these balls in the center of the court, and Kennedy is just taking advantage of those. And when she sweeps the ball into the corner, this court is very fast. It'll skid through there. Tough to defend this kind of shot. Well, especially if you give Ken in the forehand cross court, that's one of her best shots. She's able to get that ball off the court so well. The right shot to go for because uh, again cutting into the court she did a great job of that just didn't get enough rotation on that ball good patience from Radicano to stay on, on the cross court Tentative Kenny. looking serve there. So the double fault and Radu kind of surrenders her to serve. To one. Off and running here in this opening set. Spot in the second round on the line. 2 1. Very 
And Sophie again at 25 years of age. She's got the break early here, 2 1. impressive low 15 she made a smart choice here taking this one out of there I think she would have liked to do more with that swing ball he just went down the center of the court but what she did well was even though maybe it wasn't the best placed swing volley she closed at the net and made that volley a lot easier to strike through the ball yeah, again that's where Kenny is old. so dangerous if you give her that forehand cross court she's able to hit with depth she's able to create a great angle she's got good variety on that shot oh. Field. Maybe just not reading the play. I think she does disguise it well on this one. I felt like it's when you least expect it because she's moving forward inside the court. You feel like she's going to hit an aggressive shot and then all of a sudden changes it up and just catches Emma sort of backpedaling in that situation. And the way she carves 40, the ball on the 30. drop shot, well, it's, it stays so low. And it just forces Radikanu to have to hit up on the ball, gives Kenan time to have options on that backhand. Yeah. She upped the pace in that rally. Yeah, two very aggressive baseliners. Rodicano would like nothing more than just to get the break right back here, get back on even terms. <laughs> Ken is not having any other beautiful me. strike cross court. in the court you yeah. recognizing the damage she done boy she got in quickly on this high ball she changed her court position in that point throughout that point just basically decided I'm staying on top of the baseline going to take that almost every ground so she she took as a half folly handle it well end up rushing Kenan I 
Advantage Kenny. Ken Kenny. All right, Kenan does well. Underlines the break. Kenny leads. And watching Kennan play so well, at least through these first four games, and moving well, striking the ball well, you forget that she was also a Roland Garros finalist mm -hmm. on red clay. What do you think is Kennan's best surface? Is it hard courts? Is it clay? Oh, well, she's good on, on everything, I think. But I mean, if I think she hard court for me is mm -hmm. where I feel like she would shine the most. I mean, she's obviously proven she can play on all the surfaces. But so much of it is transitioning to the clay. Is about that movement and learning to slide. And she's she's actually does that very well. I remember when she got to the final. But um, I think the use of the drop shot on the clay too is yeah that extremely helpful. Fits the clay so <laughs> and well. We know she's got that down pat. Wow. Raudu Kano obviously having the success here at the U.S. Open. Very comfortable in the hard courts. She's also played well on grass. I mean, she did have that initial breakthrough at Wimbledon. Getting the fourth round back in 2021. She got to the fourth round this year was upset by Lulu Sun. Sort of a new face, a new name that emerged on the scene. The left-hander out of New Zealand. Oh. I feel like Raudu Kano is an excellent grass court player. She is, definitely. Yeah. I mean, that's what she would have grown up on, playing on the, on the grass. Southfield. Kind of taking these returns uh, pretty early. Just that ball coming back on Radu kind of side very quickly. Mistake. She tried to accelerate on the forehand. Maybe just not enough spin. Kennan really could put this set in a good place for her if she can get this point. Kind of an awkward position. She was almost around outside the net post there. Good job with the smash. 
Smart to run around that and let that ball bounce just to give herself a little bit extra time. As long as you hit down on that ball with a lot of pace, it's just going to jump out in the stands because Kenton was going in the right direction. Just a little bit too high. Great execution from Emma. Let's go. Yeah, after you can come out of the Olympics, I felt like I was watching volleyball, the way she spiked that down into the ground. <laughs> Impressive. She might have been watching the volleyball, too. You never know. <laughs> That's a good serve. Advantage Radukani. I think these two serve pretty well for their height. They're five seven. You know, they're not as tall as Sabalenko or Rabakina, so they don't possess that kind of serve. And I, I feel like they can locate it pretty well. Mm -hmm. And that's what it's about so much is the accuracy. If you if you're not going to have as much pop as uh, some of these other players out there, you have to be able to hit your targets. And if you don't have a big serve, that first serve percentage, you know, how often do you get that first serve in the box? That's going to be important. Here's a second serve for Kennan. because that was a bit deeper into the court, just yeah. inside the baseline. I do like the fact that Raducanu is looking to take that ball out of the air because Kennan's doing a good job of when she's getting behind in the point, she's resetting by just throwing up that lob and it's getting her back into position. And I thought that was a good play. Raducanu is trying to just take that time away from her. That was a difficult one, though, because it was with the depth of the shot. Backhand. I just feel like her average volleyball Kenny. has a little more behind it right now than Radikanu. It's been a few long games. Again, uh, more good tennis from Kennan, and just a few mistakes here or there have cost Raducano, cost her serve a Can couple of times. So Kennan in command in the opening. Raducano, born in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. She's residing now in Bromley. Of course, her parents and her family moved back to England when she was about two, three years of age. Dad is from Bucharest. Her mom is Chinese. international family and she really represents the sport so well represents Great Britain so well Fifteen look it's hard to imagine that Raducanu is only 21 years of age it's unbelievable I just feel like she's been a part of the tennis community for longer than that but I guess three four years is where she's uh, been able to launch her career. Certainly the setbacks haven't helped. When, when, when we, most of us first saw you know. her, she was still finishing her A-levels is what, <laughs> in, in, uh, 
in England. So she was still finishing school and trying to play WTA tour events. It was, it was just crazy. She was so young. A good return there. Yet the weeks before she won the US Open, she was playing in Landisville, Pennsylvania, <laughs> and then played a $125,000 event in Chicago. You know, reached the finals of these small events and then had to play qualifying at the U.S. Open. She missed the back end. Right, kind of trying 15, to just 40. change up the dynamic of these points. Again, trying to take everything slightly earlier throughout that rally. Thirty forty. I think this fast hard court can help their serves a little bit. If you could put it in the corner, got a little extra skid to it. Deal. Advantage, Raducanu. All right, Emma's got another chance here. That kind of did well with the short ball. She played it deep into that forehand corner. I mean, that's just an amazing example of the hands that Kennan has able to, to pick that up on the rise and just flick it cross court. Yeah, excellent placement on the serve. Advantage Kennan. I think also the body language right now. I mean, Kenan's the one that looks like she's walking with a lot more purpose. And Radu Kanu, a couple times I've seen her look over to her coach, almost a look of concern slightly about, okay, what do I need to do to change this up? Oh. I mean, she's been right in at every game. The scoreline doesn't say that. There have been three long games that have been over six minutes. So it's been a tough battle. Deal. I don't have skinning. Yeah, that's a useful serve in these conditions. Just keeps sliding away from your opponent. Game 
McKinnon. All right, so Kennan. She seems to be winning all the key points. She's taking care of all the important moments. Kennan needs one five reason why we're at percent. five one. And I would say that Raducanu is hitting the ball badly, but it maybe just uh, you know, not winning the right points. Aggression right from Love the start, picking. right off of the serve. Love oh, must have just hit the back of the line. I mean, I, I'm watching Kennan, I know she likes to take the ball early, but I feel like it's almost even earlier on the rise. Everything is so quick. It's coming back to Raducanu. Raducanu was in a winning position, but Kennan stayed home. Love faulty. She did a good job of, it was actually a pretty good approach shot. Just Kennan was going the right way, but Raducanu also shifting a little bit too much towards the center. You got to cover that line when you come forward. Set points. Serve that and that's an emphatic way to close out the opening Six set. One what a start for Sophie Kennan. 6-1 start. Can she continue in this winning way? She's serving first here on the grandstand court. Second set. That's great get right out of the gates from Kennan. I mean, look. that was probably one of Raducanu's best shots that she's hit with the power and the depth. It was right into the corner, and yet Kennan is still moving so well, able to get that ball back in play. I missed that one. I wonder if Raducanu will change things up at all. I know she was coming to the net pretty effectively. She was won six of ten points when she came forward. That's not a bad sort of conversion rate. That's where tennis can be tricky. You, know, you think about, okay, look at the score line. How much do I change? Or is it just playing better? Or is it different tactics? And a lot of things you have to weigh as a player. Obviously, you want to do what you do best more often than what your opponent does best. Yeah, it's well done. Well, I think so far she... Overall, in the first set, she was Thank struggling you. on the return a little bit. She wasn't quite reading Kennan's serve very well. So I think just having that capability to be more alert, just a little bit more ready. I mean, she's already done better in this game. I think that's 
is what I was referring Healthy, to when I said I, I don't think she seemed quite ready for how well can started out of the gates and it maybe it's just taken her a little time to you know get ready for that next ball and she was getting pushed back that that was a great point she was willing to stay low stayed on top of the baseline let I think that might be one of the keys, what you just said there about staying low, because this courts are playing fast and skidding. So when it's coming fast at you, you've got to stay down where that ball is. Oh, oh she met that one right Ooh. up an outright winner. And there's the bro first set break you that much. I mean, okay, it was a 6-1 scoreline. It was definitely closer than the score indicated. There were a lot of close games, some break point chances that Raducanu wasn't able to convert on. So to, to just be able to change that mentality around, know and remind yourself that you weren't that far off, even though it says 6-1 on the scoreline. Yeah, failed to convert on the three break points in the opening set. And the first one she has in the second she gets. And I like that choice on the first serve. That's one thing I felt like because you were talking about what do you change. And I think tactically on the serve in particular, I think she can use that body serve a lot more with how early Kennan's been taking the return. And, and you can even be willing to take some pace off, throw in a little bit more spin, but it has to be a good location into the body. Bad miss though. She's she's redirecting a little bit better. Say Radicanu. Just trying to keep Kennan off balance. that just landed at the service line. And that's where Kennan was able to take control. Oh. He's so close to the line. You can see all the calls made by the electronic line calling system. No challenges. The 
drop shot works out for Kennan. 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 And she gets the break right back. One game of second. second. The momentum Rado Kano seemed to have disappears. That was great response. Again, just really liking uh, the demeanor and the fight right now from Kennan. Didn't get discouraged that she got broken right out of the gates, just right, went back to business. And I like the positive reinforcement. She's consistently encouraging herself. Tough one to miss. Kilo. Didn't have to cut it so fine. Kennan was covering that cross court. Kilo. Third ace. Game, getting another. Yeah, she's got it going on. Getting lead two games to one break. second set, then by one With set. Service to hold, two one. Here's Raducanu. See if she's got a few ideas about how she can sort of turn things around. Obviously, taking care of your serve is going to be a big help. Struggled to do that well. She's been broken three times. Actually, check that four times. But the net. Ryder kind of did well there because Kenny was just throwing everything out here from a couple enough. drop shots to a, a deep slice. And that was good recognition on that approach shot. She just saw Kenan inching forward, so did a good job of keeping that slice deep into the court to set up that volley. Escott Kennan reaching for the last forehand. Radu kind of starting to move her on, move the ball around the court better. the drop shot 15. 15. and I'm sure in, in Kennan's mind she's going to keep playing it until it doesn't work it seems to be working still oh that's the first time Kennan actually closed to the net after that drop shot so it just made the court appear that much smaller
Marikanu is using that body serve a bit more, but Kennan has been able to quickly get out of the way. She's being very decisive on the return, quick reactions. Game a pretty strong game. Nice way to finish it off with that first serve. Second result, second set. The fastest serve of the night. USOpen.org is your online home for point-by-point -point live scoring, highlights, real-time stats, and draws. Visit the official tournament site at the USOpen.org. It's just so last minute. It's tough to read. And if she can throw in that deep one as well, I mean, just keeps you off guard. You're not quite sure whether to go forward or start moving backwards. Yeah, I suppose the player is most defined by the drop shot. It might be Anz Jabour. Yep. Maybe Marketa Vondrosova. She likes the drop shot, the Czech player. Well, I feel like Ronda Connor read that no. well because she could see the way Kennan was setting up for that ball that she got such good shoulder turn. It looked like she was going to go inside out. It's just good recognition from Ronda Connor. So close to the net. 15, Very tricky 30. for Kennan to make a play on it. That was a tough break for Kennan because she hit a great forehand and that ball just kept going towards the net. That's a, that's a tough one to handle. through that forehand.
last couple of sequences, and that's helped her get to 3 2. Raducanu. Doesn't look that way. She's been very focused. Yes. And... She had a break early in this set, lost it. Now she's regained the break for a 3 2. Raducanu doing well when the rallies go over nine shots. Much better energy from Radu Kanu. Didn't see a ton of that in the first set, so it's good to see her backing herself. It's the first one we That's really see low. Kenan just try and guide in place instead of hitting through and accelerating. Oh. Oh. Exceptionally early. 40, Pretty much a free hit down for Love in this game. So just swung very freely. Again, the counter now. She's at a fourth game and underlines the break advantage for the first Radu time today. Four games to two seconds. Four, two. Of course, another British player, Dan Evans. He was victorious and he did it with some style. Five hours and 35 minutes. Six, seven, seven, six, seven, six, four, six, six, four over Karen Hatchinov, the longest match in the U.S. Open history. Incredible. I think it was down four love in that fifth set, too. Amazing comeback from Evans. Could be inspiring for Radicano. <laughs> Saw the end of that match before they these women walked out onto the court. Yeah, these players are still working hard in the New York heat. It's almost getting on 9 p.m. New York time. It's 76 degrees, but a fair amount of humidity. No hesitation after that backhand cross. Saw how well she was able to get Emma in a very defensive position. Forty fifteen.
both teams testing. And Emma Radicano has done a, a better job at being able to find that length of that court. She was hitting just slightly shorter throughout that first set. Now she's been able to create some better opportunities for herself, getting that ball more just inside the baseline. Starting to see a few cracks in the armor of Kennan. She was Gilles. fairly perfect, almost in that opening set. Broke serve three times, didn't lose her serve. Yeah, look at the unforced errors here. Ten. That's ten too many. <laughs> <laughs> so the coach will tell you, don't miss. throughout that point, but Raducanu uh, able to just Raducanu. keep that ball, get, force Kennan to hit one extra shot. Nice time to win the point. Buy yourself a little insurance in this set. Get a second break, a little more cushion. <laughs> Screaming backhand winner. Advantage Kenny. really hits that ball very flat. Just explodes through this fast hardcourt surface. Okay. And another winner. Kenan. All right, another game for Kennan, but it's Emma Raducanu who's got the advantage here in the second. She's up for three. Four games to three seconds at first set Kenan. Emma Raducanu has got a 4-3 lead, second set. The grandstand court at the USTA Billie Jean King National Tennis Center. Leif Shiris alongside Jill Krabis. Welcome in, everyone. You're just joining us. Kennan dominant thoroughly in the opening set. Raducanu has bounced back impressively in the second. Strike on the ball. Though. Still felt like that put Radu Kanu under a little bit of pressure. Such a good return. She did a good job of again keeping the legs low, picking that ball up. You 
never feel completely safe with Kennan out there and the way she's striking the ball. I can't, can't believe it. I thought she was going to go cross court again with that last forehand. And when she changes direction on the line, she's got to make sure she creates that space. She was a little close to that shot. That's why she had to guide it a bit more. Here we go. You got this one. You got this one. Yeah, look at the unforced error and errors on the forehand wing. That's eight of them. Trouble on her serve and gets to 5 3. Radu Kanu needs 5, Ganesh to 3 seconds. And the margins are becoming finer. I mean, she's going for a little bit more, but that has a lot to do with Radu Kanu being much better at not only the defense, but getting herself behind the ball. She's just moving a little bit quicker in this second set. She's gotten a little bit rattled, yeah. She just looks a bit bothered. Just trying to settle down, trying to calm herself down. So her dad is looking a bit rattled too. Fifteen 
When you have those consistent wins, that always helps you sort of be able to reset after losing a set 6-1, just trying to buckle down, trying to make those adaptations out there. She's definitely got the momentum on her side. Third ace. Can always use a few more of those. I mean, this is the kind of game you like to play right early in a set. You've just won the next, the last set. And now you continue the momentum here in the next set. I don't feel like Kennan was missing those shots in the beginning of the match, those quick, easy mistakes off of a serve. I do feel like... The 12 of the last 15 points and six of the last seven games. Yeah, Kennan clearly irritated by how things have gone. I think she needs to calm herself. Sometimes she overplays the more emotional she gets on the court. Fifteen love. Love. Born in Moscow is Kennan, living in South Florida, Pembroke Pines. Confidence is so much coin of the realm, and it's going to dictate how you play. She did have a run to the third round at Roland Garros this year, but she has had 11 first-round losses. So that's going to sort of be a factor, you feel, in this final set. Well, 
she was on the defense, but that one shot that Roddy Cohen no did with depth, that one, that forehand into the corner really just changed up that point for her. Just went Kelsey, down Kelsey. the middle of the court, but it landed a little bit too short. on that serve down the tee just moved away yep. from Raducanu. Advantage came in. Serves and some good groundies. She's on the board. One game she dodged the final big thing. bullet, the break point in that game. Breathe a little bit easier. I feel like there's a lot on the line here for Kennan as well. One, just her ranking of 54 in the world right now. She's got a lot of points to defend after this. Did well at this stage. Of the calendar year last year got to the finals of San Diego and the semifinals of Guadalajara, which is a WTA 1000. So you always wonder if maybe, you know, points can be on the back of the player's mind sometimes. <laughs> last second round here last year. 15 love. Yeah, those ranking points and the number beside your name sort of defines you so that it's always in the back of your mind, at least. Hopefully not in the front of it. Some good serves. I know, I haven't seen that one for 14, a while. 15. Again, well disguised. 
What a bad shot here from Raducanu. Just felt like she had to cover that line. It was so open. It was a great flick cross court from Kennan. The Brits have played and won their first round. Setting in the corner of this facility. And a pretty vocal crowd, a part of this experience tonight on day two of the Open. I think she's maybe thinking about Raducanu a bit much about where she is in the court, maybe getting distracted about wondering which direction she's gonna gonna cover. And you just gotta be so present when you go to hit that short ball, kind of keep the opponent out of your mind. Defense just to keep the point alive, keep it going. Fifteen. I like that just to try and apply pressure off the bat. That was like a Sam Query. Just enjoying himself, relaxing, watching a fantastic match. I'm sure Sam's wife Abby is a, a tennis fan for her to be out watching some tennis at night. Because you can't go shopping in New York City at, the, at this time <laughs> of night. Something's <laughs> probably open, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, there's Abby. <laughs> Suddenly very famous. It's getting pretty intense. Yeah. when she's three or four feet inside the baseline.
struggle now when she tries to change direction down the line. It's just yeah. flying off her racket, missing it long. Great hustle again from Radikanu. And we spoke earlier about how Kennan produces a lot of her shots fairly flat, right? That doesn't seem to be enough spin, or maybe there should be more spin. Well, she gets that good spin on the cross court. Think. It's when down the line, I think she just is, doesn't accelerate as much, doesn't quite get the spacing she needs to be able to get that racket through the air faster. for the third time. <laughs> he is not happy about that. She's going to keep going after it. <laughs> I like that, though. Uh, Didn't back down skinny. on the cross. After that frustration, after missing that ball, just went a lot faster through that one. Yeah, just passing six minutes, a long game. We saw plenty of these in the opening set. didn't know what to do with that ball. I think originally she had her yep. forehand grip and just changed it at the last moment as that ball kept dipping lower. I've gone third, skinning. Yeah, Raducanu is should really be taking that serve away from Kennan. I mean, she's been beaten there a number of occasions. You almost got to take that one away. It's a good serve, though. And another chance to get to two all. <laughs> well, she nearly missed it. And the net court made it a little more of a Two nervous moment. Let's go, Sonia, right here. Let's go, Sonia. Go, Sonia. It's her dad, Alex, Kathy Rinaldi. Stay connected to the U.S. Open on Facebook, X, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and WhatsApp. Join the conversation with hashtag U.S. Open. that Kennedy is finding to execute shots like that. The unforced error total is at 37. Now she also has 38 winners, so she's the one really driving and dictating play out here. Raducano has been the more consistent player, fewer winners, fewer unforced. credit to Kennan because she sprayed a couple forehands, especially long, that unforced error count, you said. But like the fact that she didn't 
back down. She went to her go-to shot, that forehand cross to court, to get that confidence back on the forehand. But you're right, it's been on her racket. She's been the one that's, it's a, been a hit or miss throughout this match sometimes. Oh. It can be tough to, to play against players yeah. like that. You're not sure if what you're doing is working. Is it me or is it her? <laughs> it just can be a bit uh, disconcerting. Yeah, it's a brilliant strike. And when you played Serena Williams many times, and Serena no, had a lot of winners, she'd team. make a lot of mistakes, but you just had to stay with your game, didn't you? You did, and it's tough to get a rhythm sometimes because you start to wonder where the ball's going to go. It could, it could it miss by a few feet, or it could be an outright winner. Those are the type of matches that you play that you have to just dig deep. You have to keep fighting. And that's what Emma has done very well in the second set. She had to defend exceptionally well until she could get in an offensive position. This is what we have to, have to do in this game as well, just work her way back. Double fault. Yeah, that one could leave a mark. Certainly going to leave a mark on the scorecard. As Kennan gets the break here in the third. Now, action for the top of the women's singles draw today. Playing out the last remaining first round matches. And this is one that's been looked forward to by everyone. Kennan and Raducanu, the American with a break 3-2. Oh, she had the space. Not just that move. I mean, can I don't necessarily yeah. feel like she had to get. She actually pretty hit a pretty good low slice. Just maybe caused a bit of distraction for Raducanu there. at her level in the last couple games. Game to play after the break. Can he lead four games to two? Well, if she was Panthers. having any doubts about things, they seem <laughs> to have been erased and they're gone now because that was impressive. On, That's a great on, service game. All right, right, Kano at 2 4. She's going to have to dig deep tonight to get the win.
smash. She's really come up with some good finishing touches, and that can be tricky at night, particularly when you get a lob that goes maybe even above the lights. That was a very high lob. Because that one was very high, yeah. That's where it can be tricky. I was surprised that she took that out of the air because the higher ones normally you want to let bounce. Just give yourself a little extra time to adjust. Court forehand from Raducanu. One of the few times we've seen Kenan that far behind the baseline. situation. She was already down the break, but she gets the have to finish off the job. 4-3. She's got the lead. She's got the serve. Great setting here on a Tuesday evening on the grandstand court. One of the last first round matches unfolding. Keep it nice and low. Kennan maybe Love could have been in a little bit faster. It was a tough ball to control. She was going for that drop shot, but not easy to get under that low volley to hit the dropper. Everything right except the last Fiddle. swing volley. Now those are those high ones that you're talking about. That was difficult too. She was trying to judge that one perfectly. I think just caught it behind her. Didn't quite get in the best position. center of the court. It's tougher to hit that angle off of that ball that Kenan likes so much. Let's first of it. because you know she can go out wide, but then she really seems to hit that tee serve so well. On the deuce side in particular, it's very accurate. Numbers and 
They are important. Getting the Kenan is hitting 75 percent of her first serves in. That's a good number. It's a very high number. It's, it's and tough to break people. It is getting yeah. a lot of first serves like that. Puts pressure on the return. I mean, Raducanu has been pretty good as well. 64 percent average in the entire match. It was a little bit higher in the second set. Let's. Just so good. I think that's such a good first point to play as well, just to keep that pressure on, to be willing to come forward to take that ball out of the air. Great control. come on this forehand that she possesses. So many of them have gone cross court, like that last one. It's a really dependable weapon. Nice to have that under pressure. This. Fifteen touches. Look at the line from Kennan. And that serve out wide. It's not so much about the speed. It was only 88 miles an hour. It was about the spin and the location. Deeper serve that one landed pretty short in the box. the serve at 5-4. Only day two, but we've been treated to so many wonderful moments and scenarios. Here's another one as Kennan will serve for the match now at 5-4, final set.
Thank you. Players are ready. Yeah, every time that's where she's the most comfortable. But it happens so fast because she takes the ball so early. Look how far inside the baseline she is on that. Please, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Respect both players. Thank you. And a little bit more kick, but the depth was very good from Kennan. Match point. Thank you. 